it has been it's a, one of the publications of the Arab Academy of Egypt there are academies one of them is in Egypt so it is a publication of the Arab Academy Arabic language Academy in Egypt it doesn't have one author it's a group of people it's also I think available uh, do you have this uh, yes Al Mu'jam Al Wasit of course I, I, those who have you know, they are learning the language may not be able to uh, understand much from these but in future you will inshallah may be able to understand both these books but at present you may go in for these English three first the three books that I have mentioned first they will help you a lot Mohammed's translation and uh, Abbas Nadwi's Mu'ajam Al-Fadil Qur'an and Penrise reading will help inshallah I would suggest of course along with the Qur'an uh, the translation of Sahih Al-Bukhari Sahih Al-Bukhari because uh, the language of the Qur'an is inimitable but the hadith, language of hadith you can make use of it in your daily life because there are a lot of expressions that can be useful in daily life so it is doubly because it is also a book of hadith and also you will benefit from the linguistic point of view you have uh, Mohsin Khan's translation uh, Hilali and Khan Hilali and Khan translation by Hilali and Khan in nine volumes it has been published by various publishers Darus Salam for example so it is this text of the hadith is on the right and the translation is on the left uh, it's a simple translation and you will inshallah benefit from this uh, there is also a book a collection of hadith the, uh, the Riyadh al-Salihin I think you also have this Riyadh al-Salihin Nawawi uh, it's selection from Bukhari Muslim and different collections of hadith and arranged according to subjects like Tawba, like Salah, like different topics uh, you also have translation for this so if you have translation that will also help you I would suggest that whenever you read and come across a word that you have been looking for you want to express an idea and you don't know what to what word to use you can if you find this word you can take down have a small dictionary like thing jot down all these words that you find useful and also more than words I would suggest the expressions sentences or half a sentence that you think is very useful you want to use this in your life that kind of expression you can either highlight it in the text itself so that you can easily find out the expressions and also make a note of, of these expressions at the end of the uh, book uh, usually there are two or three pages without writing you can make a note there cross referencing so that way when you finish uh, reading this book you will have a very good collection of words and expressions but mostly you must go in for expressions you have ready-made sentences there what to say you will find sentences and you can as you say in Latin mutatis mutandis that is make necessary changes if it is masculine don't use masculine for, for, for feminine if it is feminine use the masculine when uh, you are sp speaking to a man uh, plural if it is singular you want to use it plural change it you know the the language so don't use as they are but uh, make uh, necessary changes and use them that will help you uh, a lot in Arabic there are two modes one is pausal mode and the other is continuous mode there are rules and regulations a lot of so 
according to the, the, the rule of waqf, you must say al-kitab. When you stop, you say al-kitab, write al-kitab. You don't say al write al-kitaba. But I've been telling people, the Arabs, when they listen to uh, people uh, learning like this, write al-kitaba, they will say, no, you must tell write al-kitab. I say it is wrong. For learning, you must, later on, if you, after you learn the language, you can make use of the rules of pause. Al waqf. But while you are learning the language, it's better to to use the non-pausal form. Right? Otherwise, you will not learn the language. Arabs have difficulty in learning the language because they always use without the final vowel. There is a famous saying in Arabic, Sakkin taslam. Sakkin, that means use sukoon, taslam, you will be safe. <laughs> Sakkin. Taslam. Why Taslam is Majzoom? Sakkin Taslam. Taslam Majzoom. Why? Huh? Jawab Talam. Sakkin Taslam. Salima Yaslav. Sakkin Taslam. That is, read with sukoon and you will be safe. Lam, if you say lam yaktub, yaktub, always yaktub, lam yaktub, lam yaktub, lam yaktub. So you don't know, even in the man who he has probably, he knows, he knows the grammar probably. So we can't learn. Masmuka, masmuki. You will never learn if you have uh, sukoon how to say masmuka and masmuki. It's a masmuk for both.